Welcome to the longest running quiz show in the area. Category. High school students compete to answer questions on topics from art to science, history to current events. And now, here's your category's host, John Bartell. Hi, welcome to Categories. Today we're bringing you the uh, first game for both teams this season as the Blue Valley Tigers take on the Blue Valley North Mustangs. Let's go ahead and meet our competitors first from Blue Valley. Hi, I'm Alex and I'm a senior. I'm Alan and I'm a senior. I'm Calvin, I'm a junior. I'm Spencer and I'm a senior. I'm Awesome and I'm a junior. And our competitors from Blue Valley North. Hi, I'm Ashwat, and I'm a senior. I'm Alex, and I'm a senior. I'm Jesse, and I'm a junior. I'm David, and I'm a senior. I'm James, and I'm a freshman. All right, fantastic. Thank you for the great introductions, and I like the team spirit with the, uh, the Chiefs gear on today there at Blue Valley North. You guys look good, too, Blue Valley, okay? Uh, here on Categories, we open up our first round with uh, each team taking turns answering questions. If a team does respond incorrectly, the other team will get a chance to steal. We did a coin toss before we started taping, and it was won by the Tigers of Blue Valley. So here we go. The first category for you, Tigers, is general knowledge. Every year has at least one and no more than three. Identify these days people with triskaidekaphobia fear. Spencer. Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th is correct. Mustangs, your category first off here is U.S. geography. Between which two New England states are, oh, excuse me, which two New England states are linked between Cornish and Windsor by the longest covered bridge in the United States? Sorry, James, did not get in on time. Tigers, chance to steal this U.S. geography category. Which two New England states are linked between Cornish and Windsor by the longest covered bridge in the United States? Time on that as well. We're looking at New Hampshire and Vermont. New Hampshire and Vermont. Tigers, you do get the next category, however, and it is U.S. history. What president's cool leadership helped avoid American involvement in Europe's Napoleonic Wars? Spencer? Monroe. It is not Monroe. Mustangs, chance to steal this U.S. history category. What president's cool leadership helped avoid American involvement in Europe's Napoleonic Wars? Alex. John Quincy Adams. It is not John Quincy Adams. It's Jefferson. Jefferson. Mustangs, you do get the next category. It is sports. To what football conference does the University of Notre Dame belong? David. Big East. They are not in the Big East. Blue Valley, chance to seal this sports category. To what football conference does the, Uni the University of Notre Dame belong? Awesome. None. None, that is correct, they are independent in football. Blue Valley, you have the next category, it's a science astronomy. Which heavenly bodies, aside from the moon, exhibit phases? Spencer? Planets. I need more detail, please. I cannot <laughs> accept that. Blue Valley North, you have a chance to steal, steal this science astronomy category. Which heavenly bodies assigned from the moon exhibit phases? Alex? Gas giants. I cannot accept that. We're looking for two specific planets, Mercury and Venus. Mercury and Venus. Mustangs, you do get the next category. It is musical theater. What was the first musical that Richard Rodgers and Oscar Hammerstein wrote together? Time on that. Tigers, chance to steal this musical theater category. What was the first musical that Richard Rodgers and Oscar Hammerstein wrote together? Time on that. We're looking at Oklahoma. Oklahoma. 
General knowledge, Blue Valley, is your category. Why didn't Alexander Graham Bell keep a telephone in his study? Didn't get in time, Alan. Sorry about that. Blue Valley North, you have a chance to steal this general knowledge category. Why didn't Alexander Graham Bell keep a telephone in his study? James? Because he was never in his study. That is incorrect. The correct answer is he hated interruptions. He hated interruptions. Blue Valley and North, you have a math category question uh, in regards, or excuse me, regarding terminology. What is defined in mathematics as the power to which a given base must be raised to produce a given number? Alex? A logarithm. Logarithm, very good. Tigers, next category for you is vocabulary. What word, derived from the Greek words meaning air and life, referred to a system of bodybuilding through exercises which develops the use of oxygen by the body? Alan. Aerobic. Aerobic. Blue Valley North, literature, poetry. Okay, it's going to start off with a quote. Hog butcher for the world, tool maker, stacker of wheat. Player with railroads and the nation's freight handler. Stormy, husky, brawling city of big shoulders. What is the name of the poem and who wrote it? Jesse? Is it Chicago, um, was it Carl Sandburg? It is, both of them, perfect. Tigers, science, medicine is your category. What is an autotransfusion? Calvin. When someone has blood taken from them and put into their body. Yep, their, recycling their of their own blood. Taken in, put it back in. Very good. Blue Valley North, art, terminology is your category. What, is, what name is given to the actual piece of artwork done by the artist rather than a copy of it? David? The original. The original. Very good. Sometimes the obvious answer is the one to go with, right? Tigers, world history is your category. U.S. troops began landing on Japan in August 1945, the first occupation of the country in a decade, a century, or a millennium. Spencer. A century. It is not a century. Blue Valley North, chance to steal this world history category. U.S. troops became, began landing on Japan in August 1945, the first occupation of this country in a decade, a century, or millennium. Alex. Millennium. Millennium is the correct answer, and you have tied the score at four apiece. You have the next category, it's U.S. government. Which state did not send a delegate to the Constitutional Convention to revise the Articles of Confederation? Alex. South Carolina. That is incorrect. Tigers, chance to steal this U.S. government category. Which state did not send a delegate to the Constitutional Convention to revise the Articles of the Confederation? Alex. Rhode Island. It is Rhode Island. Tigers, you get the next category. It is a geography, specifically seas. Multiple choice. Of the Baltic Sea, Black Sea, Caspian Sea, and North Sea. Which body of water does not bound Russia? Spencer. The North Sea. The North Sea is correct. Mustangs, next category for you, fine arts, painters. Identify the Flemish artist known for his paintings, The Three Graces and The Feast of Venus. Jesse? Is it Albrecht Durer? Is incorrect. Tigers, chance to steal this fine arts painters category. Identify the Flemish artist known for his paintings, The Three Graces and The Feast of Venus. We're looking for Ruben, Peter Paul Ruben. Tigers, you get the next uh, category, and it is general knowledge. What is the term? For the amount one has left in its paycheck after taxes have been paid or have been deducted. Mm -hmm. 
Mustangs, chance to steal this general knowledge category. What is the term for the amount one has left in his paycheck after taxes have been deducted? Ashwa? Take home salary. Take home salary or net pay. Either one is acceptable. For the Valley North, a geometry question for you. A square has four sides, of course, but how many edges does a cube have? Ashwa? 12. 12. That is correct. Tigers, you have the next category, vocabulary, word origin. What objective, or excuse me, what adjective, meaning gloomy or depressing, derives from the Latin words meaning bad day? Alex? Solon. That is incorrect. Mustangs, chance to steal this vocabulary, word origins question. What adjective, meaning gloomy or depressing, derives from the Latin words meaning bad day? Dismal. Dismal is what we're looking for. Literature is the next category for you, Mustangs. One clever sailor passing by the sirens stopped the ears of his crews, excuse me, yeah, stopped the ears of his crews with wax and had them tie him to the mast. As the ship approached the isle, he was enthralled by the lovely music, but he was tied, to, he was tied fast and his men heard nothing, so they rode safely by. What sailor am I talking about? Jesse? Odysseus. Odysseus is correct. Tigers, you have the next category. It's history. Was the Lusitania, a ship, was the Lusitania a German, American, Russian, or British ship? Alex? British. It was British. Mustangs, government is your category. Regarding the use of land and capital, how does fascism differ from communism? Alex? Land and capital are in the hands of private rather than public hands. Okay, could you explain that again for me? Um, private ownership of land and uh, capital as opposed to public ownership of land and capital. And which is which? Oh, private is fascism. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You gave the right answer. I just need you to label which one was correct. Thank you. Blue Valley, you have the next choice, or next category. It's world geography. Napoleon gave this city to Bavaria in 1806. Name this city, which has hosted the Winter Olympics twice. Mustangs, chance to steal this world geography question. Napoleon gave this city to Bavaria in 1806. Name this city, which has hosted the Winter Olympics twice. David? Brussels? It is not Brussels, it's Innsbruck. Innsbruck. Okay. All right, Blue Valley North, you do have the next question. Sorry, I lost track of that one. And we will finish this question since I delayed the, the question being asked. Science is the category. When an electron and positron meet, they are both annihilated. But what is produced? Jesse? Is it an alpha particle? Do not accept alpha particle. Blue Valley, you have a chance to steal this science category. When an electron and a positron meet, they are both annihilated. What is produced? Spencer. A photon. A photon or energy. Either one is acceptable. So that is a correct answer. And that does tie up our score as we move into halftime. Blue Valley 8 and Blue Valley North 8. At this time in our program, we do go to a member of each team who will give us a campus update and let us know what's happening with their school and community. And for Blue Valley, we have Alan. Alan, what is happening with the Tigers? All right, so recently um, our school won the Avila Science and Math Challenge for young women. Um, we also uh, are hosting our blood drive as well as um, a canned food drive. And um, boys soccer is going to state quarterfinals and um, our football team were the winners of the district champion, uh, were the district champions and are going to the playoffs on Friday. And um, lastly, our marching band um, finished their season very strong at Lee Summit North where they won basically first in everything. So, yeah. Well, that's, that's pretty, 
pretty accomplished to get that. Because yeah. there's a lot, I know there's a lot of good marching bands that go to that festival, so that's pretty impressive. Blue Valley North, Oshawath, what's happening with uh, the Mustangs? Uh, BBN is off to a great start this year. In athletics, our girls golf team won the state championship, and our girls tennis took, uh, took second in state, while our girls volleyball also just took second in state too. While in, in academics, Rex Ty, who you may remember from our squad last year, was named a presidential scholar, and also we have 17 national merit semifinalists this year. In performing arts, the senior band at B Blue Valley North just received a one superior rating in the KU Marching Band Festival. So we're pretty, doing pretty well this year. Oh, that's off to a great start. I guess I say start, we're already 10 weeks in. So yeah. awesome job, both teams. As we head into the second round, it is the lightning round in which a question is placed on the floor for either team to answer. If a team does respond incorrectly, the other team will get a chance to steal. Uh, just as a reminder to contestants that once you ring in, please make sure I call your name. You don't want to blurt out an answer and give the other team an answer. All right, here we go. Both teams, music is the category. The sound quality of these two orchestral instruments is almost indistinguishable, even to some instrumentalists. One is the cornet. What's the other? Alex. Trumpet. The trumpet is correct. History, transportation is the next category for both teams. It's a long multiple choice question, so here we go. In the development of transportation in the United States, canals were important because they usually connected which of the following? Railroads and national roads, rivers and mountain passes, lakes and mountains, rivers and lakes, or railroads and steam locomotive centers. Alex. Rivers and lakes. Rivers and lakes is correct. U.S. geography for both teams. What low mountains in, in the south central United States get their name from the French meaning at the bends? Alex. Appalachian. It is not Appalachian. Blue Valley North, you have a chance to steal this U.S. geography question. What low mountains in the south central United States get their name from the French meaning at the bends? Looking for the Ozarks, the Ozarks. Both teams, economics, vocabulary is the next category. What term describes the type of tax that taxes what people spend, not what they earn? Spencer. Consumption tax. Consumption tax, right on the money, so to speak. Science, species is the next category for both teams. Among its 19 families are the snip-faced, the hog-nosed, the sucker-footed, the plummel-eared, the mouse-tailed, the disc-winged, and the flying fox. What order am I talking about? Awesome. Bats. Bats is correct. Journalism for both teams. Why did Tim Jayago, Jayago, excuse me, a Sioux Indian newspaper publisher, return his 1985 H.L. Mencken Award? because it was widely reported that Mencken's diaries showed him to be a bigot. Both teams, ancient history is the category and it is multiple choice. The Holy Roman Empire existed from A, 31 BC to the 400s, B, 800 to the early 1800s, C, 527 AD to 1453, or D, 1 AD to the 1500s. Awesome. B. Pardon me? B. B is correct. World geography for both teams. Scholars of ancient Rome called this region Terra Incognita Australis, meaning unknown southern. Alex? Australia. It is not Australia. Sorry. Blue Valley North. World geography is your category. Scholars of ancient Rome called this region Terra Incognita Australis, meaning unknown southern land. What's the region called today? David. Africa. It is not Africa. A little bit further south, Antarctica. Antarctica is what we were looking for. Sports history for both teams. In 1926, he had a 23 and 12 record and led the league with a 1.75 ERA pitching for the Boston Red Sox. Can you name him? Awesome. Bruce? It is Babe Ruth. 
You open up a bit of a lead here, Blue Valley with a score of 13, Blue Valley North 9. Science, astronomy for both teams. The sun and the moon are, of course, the brightest objects in the sky which are visible from Earth. What is the third brightest? Calvin. Sirius. Cannot accept Sirius. Blue Valley North, you have a chance to steal, steal this science astronomy question. The sun and the moon, of course, are the brightest objects in the sky which are visible from Earth. What is the third brightest object we can see? Jesse? Venus. It is Venus. Literature for both teams. Robert Browning married Elizabeth Barrett. Whom did William Shakespeare marry? Ashwa? Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway is correct. Fine arts film for both teams. The first sound, the first sound motion picture was produced in 1927. Give me the name of that picture. Alex? Singer. It is the jazz singer. U.S. history, presidents is the next category for both teams. Who was the first president born after the adoption of the U.S. Constitution? Awesome. Van Buren. It is not Van Buren. Blue Valley North, chance to steal this U.S. president's category and tie up the score. Who was the first president born after the adoption of the U.S. Constitution? He lived from 1790 to 1862 and was president from 1841 to 1845. Ashwa? Andrew Jackson. It is not Andrew Jackson, it is John Tyler. John Tyler. Science, biology for both teams. What is the enzyme that promotes the conversion of fat into fatty acid and glycerin or the reverse? Spencer? Lipase. Lipase is the correct answer. Famous quotations. What British wit is quoted here? When two people are under the influence of the most violent, most insane, most delusive, and most transient of passions, they are required to swear that they will remain in that excited, abnormal, and exhausting condition continuously until death do them part. Calvin. Winston Churchill. It is not Winston Churchill. Mustangs. Famous quotations is the category you have a chance to steal. What famous British wit is quoted here? When two people are under the influence of the most violent, most insane, most elusive, and most transient of passions, they are required to swear that they will remain in that excited, abnormal, and exhausting condition continuously until death do them part. Alex? Jonathan Swift. It is not Jonathan Swift. It's uh, George Bernard Shaw. George Bernard Shaw. World geography, a little bit shorter question for both teams here. World geography is the category. The river Volta reaches the sea in what country? Looking for Ghana. Ghana. U.S. government for both teams. Which of the following is not prohibited by the Bill of Rights? You have a choice here. Infringing the right to bear arms, double jeopardy, ex post facto laws, quartering of soldiers in private homes, or cruel and unusual punishment. Awesome. Ex post facto laws. Ex post facto laws, that is correct. World history for both teams. In 1944, four nations met at Dumbarton Oaks in which, excuse me, let me start over. In 1944, four nations met at Dumbarton Oaks in which city? to create a successor to the League of Nations. Alex? Yalta. It is not Yalta. Blue Valley North, chance to steal this world history category. In 1944, four nations met at Dumbarton Oaks in which city to create a successor to the League of Nations? Jesse? New York City. It is not New York City, it's Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. Theater for both teams. In drama, what do we call the convention by which an actor, unnoticed by others on stage, makes brief comments to the audience? Spencer? An aside. An aside. Very good. Sports for both teams. As it is used in ice hockey, explain the meaning of the term power play goal. Awesome. Uh, team scores while the other team, while they have less players than the other team. 
I will accept that when, when there's a difference in the goals or a difference in the players. Literature for both teams. According to editors of Science Fiction Book Club, what is the most significant science fiction or fantasy book of the past 50 years? Calvin. Ender's Game. That is incorrect. Mustang's chance to steal this literature category. According to the editors of the Science Fiction Book Club, what is the most significant science fiction or fantasy book of the past 50 years? Alex? Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It is not Hitchhiker's Guide. It's The Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. But I would vote for The Hitchhiker's Guide as well. U.S. Geography States is the category. Montana. Actually, this is both United States and Canadian geography. Montana is bordered by what three Canadian provinces? Spencer? Alberta, Manitoba, and Saskatchewan. That is incorrect. Mustangs, chance to steal this, uh, this geography question. Montana is bordered by what three Canadian provinces? Alex. British Columbia, uh, Saskatchewan, Alberta. Those are the three. Very good. Government for both teams. The vice president presides over Congress in the majority of our states. Who presides over the state Senate? Alex. President Pro Tempore. Cannot accept that. Blue Valley North, chance to steal this government question. The vice president presides over Congress. In majority of our states, who presides over the state Senate? Alex? Lieutenant Governor. Lieutenant Governor. We do have a score currently at uh, Blue Valley 17, Blue Valley North 14. Fine arts, opera is the next question. Gilbert and Sullivan are most famous for operettas. However, the Hungarian Franz Lehár also wrote operettas. His most famous work is about what merry kind of woman who has lost her husband to death. Spencer? A widow. A widow. Science is the next category. The atomic age was born when a group of scientists demonstrated a self-sustaining nuclear reaction at a makeshift laboratory in Chicago. Where was this laboratory? Spencer? On the University of Chicago campus. I will accept that. It is the University of Chicago campus. More specifically, it was under the football stadium. Spelling for both teams. How do you spell masquerade? Calvin. M-A-S-Q-U-E-R-A-D-E. -E. That is masquerade. Very good. World of geography for both teams. The largest city in the world in AD... We will finish this question. The largest city in the world in AD 1000 was about 10,000 miles due east of Jerusalem. Its temple in ruins was discovered in 1858 and now has fallen into much greater disrepair. Name it. I'm looking for Angkor, Cambodia. Angkor, Cambodia. But that siren does signal the end of our game. And it was a well-fought game here between two uh, deserving competitors or two competing teams. And Blue Valley came out on top with a score of 20 to Blue Valley North. 14. Once again, well played match by both teams. Please join us again next time here on Categories as we bring you the best and brightest minds all throughout Johnson County.